What's up, family? A white man who challenged a black family's use of a gated pool in a North Carolina neighborhood has been relieved of his duties. He's resigned from the Homeowners Association Board, but that's not all. He's been fired from his regular gig. That's right. Sonico announced Friday that Adam Bloom, remember that name, is no longer employed by the Packaging and Industrial Products Company saying it doesn't condone discrimination of any kind, even if it happens outside of the workplace. This comes after a white manager at an apartment complex in Memphis called the police on a black tenant for wearing socks in the pool. Now, some of y'all might say, well, you know, socks, you know, that's kind of dirty. You know, you know, shouldn't be wearing socks in the pool. Well, how about that tenant said that there were white people in the pool with caps on. The pool rules clearly says no caps, no shirts. It didn't say no socks. The point is that she signaled them out. I could literally spend an hour talking about all of these cases where white folks have called the police on black people just for being black a whole hour at least, and that's just in the last month or so. It's ridiculous, man. So when y'all say it's not racially motivated, well, what is it? Because you know damn well, white folks do the same thing. Everything that they didn't call the police on black folks for, white people are doing it. Why aren't white people calling the police on white people for these little trivial ass so-called infractions? Or violating of the rules or, or the law. Why aren't white people getting the police called on them for the, why, in fact, why isn't anybody else getting the police called on them for these minor, little minor incidents? Why? You got to know that there are white people out there who wake up thinking, let me see how I can make somebody's day bad who is black. Ain't no other explanation, man. All of this shit about, man, you, you race baiting and nah. That's what you say when you tell the truth. It's race baiting. If I, was, if I was lying, then you could say I was race baiting. But if I'm telling the truth, then the truth is the truth, man. Y'all got a problem with the truth. Take it up with your fellow white people. Do what the woman did in Oakland and call their asses out. You could put an end to these stories that I'm covering like this by just calling out other white people and saying, we don't rock like that. You're making us look bad. Leave them people to fuck alone. That's how you want to put it into it. That's how you put it into it. But you ain't gonna put it into it by calling me a racist or a race bait or something like that for telling the truth. I am not going to not tell the truth are not cover these stories to make you feel comfortable. In fact, when you try to get me to do something like that, I hate your ass because you don't care about the truth. You don't care about equality. You don't care about righteousness. All you want people to do is to suffer in silence. You don't care about people being done wrong. So in my opinion, fuck you and get off my damn page. I'm not going to stop bringing the heat. Never. The lawyer for the white man who called the police said that because he's receiving death threats, he's taken his family about 100 miles away from Raleigh to protect them. Yeah, right. His ass didn't feel so unprotected when he was out there discriminating, talking about he didn't mean to discriminate. You mean you didn't mean to discriminate? When people discriminate, it's done purposely. You can't accidentally discriminate. It's done on purpose. 
And see, what has to happen is what has happened to them. Put their asses on blast every chance you get. When they step out of line with that racist shit, put them on blast. Let everybody know who they are. They may be comfortable with that their friends know that they're racist because their friends already know. But they, what they may not be comfortable with is their employee knowing that they're racist or their employees knowing that they're racist. They may not be comfortable with their circle of, uh, extended circle of friends knowing that they're racist or those people that they come in contact with who are of different backgrounds that they casually come in contact with, maybe at the store, maybe the mailman or whatever, or whoever. They may not be comfortable with that, but put their asses on blast. And if the company that they work for is not playing ball, you go after the company. You make everybody feel ashamed to be associated with them. Out their asses, ostracize them. That's how you make their asses get right. You're always going to have a certain amount of white people out there who are going to be racist and there's nothing you can do about it to change their mind. But you can take action to make life very uncomfortable for them. So when you say, oh, you're being racist, no. This ain't racism. Not what I'm doing. This is social commentary. Telling the truth. And for both of those Apartment complex managers, this is karma. That's what this is called. This ain't race baiting. This is karma. On another note, I heard Trump's Mar-a-Lago is hiring landscapers. You can fill out your application online. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.